We wanted to know how Portland would do if it was hit by a 6.0 quake. Local experts say it's not a matter of if, but when. Jolie Winaga joins us now with the latest on local preparedness. Joel? Ken, good evening. Oregon is not often thought of as earthquake country, but I've learned tonight that Portland alone sits on three separate fault lines and off the Oregon coast is the Juan de Fuca plate that I'm told could move at any time. When local geologists see Sunday's earthquake damage in Northern California, they know a magnitude six or stronger quake could hit Portland any time. And we're concerned about that. That occurs on the average of every 500 years. Uh, and if that happens, we're really going to go in, through a lot of shaking in the Portland area. PSU geologist Dr. Scott Burns shows us the Juan de Fuca plate sits just off the Oregon coast. The last large earthquake happened more than 300 years ago. As a result, University of Portland Environmental Studies professor Dr. Robert Butler tells me local infrastructure could be severely damaged. Buildings built before the 1990s had no earthquake codes. So those unreinforced masonry buildings will be the ones that will be most vulnerable most likely to sustain severe damage. And just this summer, Portland Public Schools invested $3 million in seismic upgrades for Hosford Middle School. We have infrastructure that, is, especially if it's built before 1994, that is just not ready for that. Earthquake preparedness at home includes an earthquake kit. The Red Cross recommends water, a first aid kit, medications, a flashlight, portable radio, and plenty of batteries. We are indeed finding more and more faults that exist in the Willamette Valley in the Portland area. A wake-up call to the south of us Sunday morning. Local geologists warn all Oregonians to pay attention. Back live now, local experts tell me that that Oregonians really have come a long way in terms of seismic improvements, but uh, a lot of improvement is needed. I can tell you that uh, that earthquake kit couldn't stress that more, according to the experts. Reporting live here downtown, Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Ken, back to you.